Hi everyone, how are you doing today? I hope you are having a wonderful day. Today I am here with the update to my Deck of Panning project. This is a huge collaborative project. It was started by Emily and Max. Definitely check out the hashtag and I'm gonna try and leave as much information as I can in the description box down below if you're interested in the rules and all the participants and such. Essentially, I have a deck of cards here. I will be talking about the products that I've been working on and I do have some rollouts so very excited I will be able to draw some new cards. I'm also really excited about this deck <laughs> that I got. This is a Jane Austen themed deck. So each card has like quotes from four her four most popular novels and such. And the Joker is um, William Collins. <laughs> of course he's the Joker. I just love it so much. I got I had to have fun with this. I was thinking, man, I could just go get a normal deck of cards, but I really wanted something fun. I spotted these on Amazon and it happened. Okay, so let's get into the products that I started on last time. So my very first prompt was Autumn. So I wanted to work on this Milani lipstick. I have the shade number 10. I am confident this shade definitely makes me think of Autumn. On me, it's more like a brick red. I think on the site it describes it like a dusty dark rose, which I disagree with. <laughs> But in any case, I really wanted to use this 10 times, which I thought was going to be difficult to reach just because of the color, but I actually figured out a way that I really like to wear this. So in the morning, I always put on a lip balm after I brush my teeth and I would go right in with this and kind of lightly dab it on top and it would create like a tinted lip balm, which I know everyone else probably already does that, but it was like a thing for me to figure out that that's how I really like to wear this color. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. So I managed to reach my 10 use goal. So I'm very excited about that. I'll be putting this back in my stash. My next prompt was an influencer or a collab brand type product. So I chose a lip liner from Wayne Goss. I actually have this all over my lips today with nothing else. I really, really like the color. Um, I sharpened it once. So I did not make a whole lot of progress on this. My goal for this is I want to use it up all the way down to the starting of the writing right there. So that's actually quite a bit of pencil. I feel like this will take me a long time to reach. I was able to make, oh, you can't really see. <laughs> I was able to make a new line. So you can see very little progress on it, but I'm happy to keep this out and use it. I really, really like it. And honestly, if I'm looking for something long wearing, I would reach for a lip liner just filled in the whole lip over a liquid lipstick any day. This is really nice. So that will be staying in the project for some time. Next, I had to work on a oldest product. So I chose my oldest lip gloss. That was this one from MAC. This is the shade Love Child in the, this is a mini lip gloss. And I finished it off. That was my goal. There was hardly anything left in here. It was a little bit of a gimme product, but this had been sitting around just kind of waiting for me to put it in a project. So I'm so glad. I was finally able to finish this off and I can put this in my empties. Next up, I was supposed to work on another oldest product. So I chose my oldest blush. That's this one from Sugar Cosmetics in the shade Peach Peak. And I gave myself what I would consider to be a very lofty goal of 30 uses on this. I have not reached that goal yet. In fact, I've only used it nine times. It is more of a peachy type blush and it hasn't really gone with the looks that I've been wearing this whole month. I've been wearing a lot of very cool toned look. So I'm hoping as I wear a little more neutral to warm toned looks that I can reach for this more. I still don't think I'll be able to roll this out at the next update, maybe in two months. Lastly, I was supposed to work on something that I, a brand, <laughs> I start that over, I was supposed to work on a item from a brand that I have the most of. I have the most of Essence in my stash. So I chose this Essence Brow, this is called the Make Me Brow, Eyebrow Gel Mascara with the one with fibers. I have mine in the shade Brownie Brows. I forgot to weigh this last time, so I don't have progress to share. However, I have been wearing this almost every day. And every single time that I've worn makeup, I have worn this, and I think I wore makeup almost every day last month. So this is getting consistent use. I'm gonna try as soon as I'm done here to actually weigh this though. I don't know if this will show much of a weight difference from month to month, but I will try in any case, and my goal with this one is to use it up. Okay, so now comes the very exciting part, <laughs> port. <laughs> I'm gonna put up the board here on the screen while I shuffle my cards. So as you can see, there's a different prompt for each card, and this board gets reshuffled every single month, so there's always different things that you can roll in. Keeps us, keeps it very exciting. Oh, I love shuffling. I don't know how you guys, I don't know if you guys feel the same way I do about like a really good bridge while shuffling. 
very satisfying. I really, really don't want the Joker. If I haven't said before, a Joker stands for, are you joking? Basically a product that you really, really don't want to work on or pan. So the hope is not a Joker. All right, I think it's shuffled decently well. So I'm just gonna pull from the top. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Okay, so the very first card is a queen of heart, no, queen of spades. <laughs> Whew, okay, so a queen is a random color generator. So I haven't done that before. Very exciting. By the way, if you're into Jane Austen type stuff, the Queen of Spades in this deck stands for Anne Elliot. And for my next card, what is it? Oh, I thought, first I thought it was the Joker. <laughs> Thank goodness it is not. This is the Jack of Clubs. This is Frank Churchill. And a jack stands for a whole collection roulette. I was really hoping I wouldn't get a jack because I don't ha do not have my entire collection in a spreadsheet. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Before I do that, let's do that random color generator. Okay, here's a random color generator. It says to tap here, so we will do so. And we got a green. Oh, that's exciting. You know, that will definitely be an eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm gonna figure out how I can do the random whole project collection thing, and then I will find something to correlate with this green. I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. I figured out, I think, sort of what I'm gonna do. So for the whole collection roulette, I just had my daughter randomly choose something. Like, I think that's another uh, actual thing you can roll, having a family member choose something, so. But that's all I could do to think of. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get all my stuff into a spreadsheet. That feels extremely overwhelming, but I should probably get it done. But anyway, my daughter picked out a skincare product. So this is from Bosha. I cannot remember how to pronounce that. Every single time I say it on my channel, I think I have everyone like help me out, <laughs> Bosha. This is the Luminizing Black Mask. This is a peel off mask. Now I feel like I've used like black peel off masks before and they're always very intense. <laughs> and lately I've been having Kind of more sensitive skin. I've been breaking out quite a bit here. Well, it doesn't look so bad maybe in this light, <laughs> but I have. I've been breaking out, so I don't want to like commit to using this up. I just want to use it a few times. So let's say five times for this mask. I could probably use it only at, like a maximum of once a week. So I might not be able to roll, I probably won't be able to roll this out next time, but I do feel like that's an achievable goal for this particular product. So five times for this guy. Then, okay, so now for the random color generator. I'm gonna put up a, my screenshot that I took of the color. As you can see, it is a bright springtime green. And I searched through my stash for something that was that bright lime green. I don't own a green eyeshadow that is that bright, and I don't even have anything with lime green packaging like that. So I just chose a green eyeshadow. It's the closest I could get to it, I guess. So this is the shade, oh, it looks very, there we go. This is the shade Moolah from Luxie. <laughs> from Luxie Beauty, isn't it beautiful? I love wearing this type of shade on my lid. It's probably one of my favorite go-to looks is green with this type of green. I'm trying to decide what I want to do though. I'm panning, honestly, I'm feeling overwhelmed right now with the eyeshadows I'm panning. I don't want to add this in to panning, to be panned, even though that would be fun. We'll save that for another time. So for now, just usage on this. 10 times I think will be sufficient. Like I said, I'm feeling overwhelmed with eyeshadows right now. So 10 times for this eyeshadow. All right, thank you guys so much for watching today. If you feel like binging this project, there's so many people who are participating, so make sure and check them out in the participant list, and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!